Welcome back to the channel. This video is fairly quick and fairly simple. Many years ago I had a friend who told me that a police officer told him that if he was attacked and then questioned about his response to that attack that he should say to the police officer that he feared for his life and so he hit the guy as hard as he possibly could. Now I'm here to tell you that that's bad advice because self-defense has still to be reasonable and proportionate force in the circumstances that somebody genuinely believes them to be. Allow me to explain, although I've explained this in great detail in other videos. But if you are defending yourself, you are allowed to use reasonable force, but it must be reasonable force and in the circumstances that you genuinely believe them to be. So there is both a subjective and an objective element to this analysis. The subjective part, what did the person think? Did they genuinely believe that they were going to be killed or attacked or something like that. And the objective assessment being what would a reasonable person think is a reasonable and proportionate amount of force to react in those circumstances. So you can see the difference between the two. One analysis is what did the person being attacked think? And the second analysis is what would a reasonable person have done in that situation? Now, most reasonable people would not hit somebody as hard as they possibly could. But that is not the only advice that was given to this chap because the subjective assessment is still going to be decided by a jury if this person finds themselves in court. So the assessment is going to be twofold. Did the person genuinely believe they were going to be killed? And then secondly, what would a reasonable person have done in that situation? So there may well be times where that actually is true, where the person did genuinely believe that they were going to be killed and their response was to hit as hard as they could or do something as hard as they possibly could. And both of those tests might be proven out. Both the subjective element that the person did genuinely fear for their safety, perhaps in some kind of terrorist incident, and that the response to hit with as much force as they possibly could by an objective assessment was reasonable and proportionate in those circumstances. But with the context of the advice in which this was given to this chap that I spoke to many years ago, he was told to do this in any scenario where he was defending himself. And of course, that is not good advice and I would not recommend anybody doing that. But as always, you must seek formal legal advice because your own situation, if you find yourself in that position, is going to depend on the facts and the circumstances and lots of other factors that I couldn't possibly know when I'm creating this video for you. So you must seek formal legal advice if you find yourself in that position. But the point of this video is please don't rely on blanket advice such as that one given to this chap that I spoke to some years ago because it won't apply in every scenario. So heed the warning, like the video, subscribe and see you next time.